Hello, distance learning people. Uh, this is Mr. Clark. We're giving you uh, an update here on what we're going to do the week of September 28th through October 2nd. Here's our weekly outline. Uh, like always, make sure when you go to Canvas, you click on the link that says distance learning and make sure you're looking at the activities for this week. Every day we have a lesson, and most days we have an LEQ, lesson essential question to answer. Those LEQs are pretty much how you get your grade, so do them well. If you don't do them at all, that's like a one, that's not passing. Do them kind of badly, gets you a two. Do them really well, you get a three. Even go above and beyond, you get a four. Uh, so make sure you're doing those LEQs well, doing your activities well. Uh, that you do every day. Now, as far as topics go, you know, the American Revolutionary War is over. Uh, the United States very happy to be independent, but we're going to really struggle at first. So on Monday, uh, we're talking about, yay, being independent is great, but boy, is it hard work. Our 13 colonies are by no means a unified country. We don't really care what's happening from one colony to the other. Georgia, or states now, Georgia doesn't care what's going on in New York. Uh, Virginia doesn't care about Massachusetts. The war is over, and, well, now we don't really have any reason to get along with each other anymore. So we're really going to struggle. The United States will be a lot like a chocolate chip cookie. You know, 13 independent cook or chips in the cookie, kind of loosely held together by a document called the Articles of Confederation. So we'll learn about that today. We'll learn about, well, things aren't good. Tuesday, we are going to learn about well, there are some good things under the Articles of Confederation Government, our first constitution. So we'll learn about the Northwest Territory and how Congress comes up with a plan for people to move out there and live. So that's good. The Northwest Territory is going to be a success. Unfortunately, there aren't many other successes of the Confederation years. Wednesday, we're taking a little field trip to Philadelphia, virtually. We'll visit the Betsy Ross House, which is the picture in the top of the screen. You might think famous people have a really nice, big, huge house, right? No, Betsy Ross sure didn't. She, as famous as she may be, certainly wasn't wealthy, uh, had a lot of struggles in her life, but we often give her credit for making America's first flag. So you'll visit her house. You'll also visit the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, just a few blocks away from Betsy Ross's house. And by the way, in this picture, you see the Liberty Bell, but in the background is Independence Hall, where our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution were written. Thursday, we're going to look at some of the bad things about the Articles of Confederation years. Four big problems. Problems like we don't have a national defense, and we don't have a fair way to tax the different states, and we don't have a court system. So when two states get bickering over something, there's nowhere to go for help. And a fourth situation that's really bad is that every state, being all independent, well, they all print their own money, and doing business between states is really difficult. So Thursday, we're looking at some of the bad of the Confederation years, which unfortunately, that will all outweigh the good. And then finally, Friday, October 2nd, we'll do a story called Shays Rebellion. This is going to be the last straw. Some people are finally going to realize we have got to do something to fix our first government because it is just not working. We're going to need to form a more perfect union. Uh, we'll do that with the Constitution, which we'll learn about next week. Um, but for Friday, we'll learn how Shays Rebellion in Massachusetts, where a bunch of essentially farmers get together and almost take over the state of Massachusetts. It scares everybody that we're about to lose the blessings of liberty that we have gained through our revolution. So that's our outline for this week. Also, we'll uh, maybe talk to you about our trade books we're going to read later on in the week. Uh, so for all the distance learning kids, you're going to do you're going to read a book called a historical fiction book called Fever 1793. Uh, a yellow fever epidemic sweeps through the city of Philadelphia, probably other cities as well, but this book is about Philadelphia in 1793. Not a lot unlike coronavirus today. So that's kind of where we're headed this week.